Well, we are here with Al Sorensen, who is our brother in Christ and, and able to do this through the, the miracle of Zoom, which we've been getting a lot of miles out of here since the beginning of COVID in March. And, and, uh, and so Al, you're able to come to us as we continue to meditate on the idea that in his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. And, and so Al, I'd love for you to share how that grace upon grace is uh, played out in, in your own life and, and in the generosity that you have expressed in your life. And so Al, go ahead. Thank you, Pastor Tony. You know, over the past few days, I've been uh, thinking about uh, our theme for the season grace upon grace, and about the, about the gifts that uh, grace gives us. And one of those gifts is uh, relationships and how important they are in our lives. Um, relationships with family, with friends, and with people that we work with. But our relationship with God that tops the list. Yes. It's here in our congregation that I, I find renewal of my inner strength and my relationship with God through worship and fellowship with those around me. Our congregation is mighty important to me. My relationship to God really causes me to... Uh, ask the question, how has giving to the church affected my life? Well, uh, giving to the work of spreading the gospel has really established uh, the direction of my life. It has helped me to develop an interest and enthusiasm for work that is going on in our congregation and throughout the church worldwide. It's important to me because I have invested a part of myself, my time and my dollars. I've noticed that as my giving has increased, so has my interest and my participation. But it's also true that as my interest and participation has increased, so has my giving. They depend on each other. Mm -hmm. Giving has uh, also given a sense of purpose to my life, uh, directing it away from a self-centeredness to a concern for those around me. It has helped me to become more sensitive to the needs of others, creating at least in part an understanding and an appreciation for what is taking place in other people's lives and uh, caring about their well-being. Giving has helped me take ownership of Christ's command. Mm. Go and make disciples of all nations. Yes. I want to be a part of this great effort to tell the people of our community and the world that God loves them. Mm -hmm. Giving to the church makes that possible. Giving is also part of my worship experience. Mm -hmm. It's my offering to God. There seems to be a need within me to give. To share a part of that which God has given me with others who are in need. I've discovered that I cannot outgive God. The more that I give, the more blessings He gives. The reason for my giving is out of gratitude to God for His love and His forgiveness. We give out of an attitude of gratitude. I've heard it said, uh, give until it hurts. Well, from my experience, there is a much better way. 
And that is to give until it feels good. Amen. And that is what Marilyn and I have done. Oh. Praise be to God. Yes. Well, Al and Marilyn, you two are such a witness to the power of grace upon grace upon grace and the joy that comes as you are in the midst of that flow. So thank you, Al, for sharing. My pleasure and my joy. 